Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video guys, uh, I will be uh, replacing my tie rod ends uh, because actually uh, when I replace uh, my wheels I realized but at least one of them was damaged. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if they are both damaged uh, but I have bought um, for both sides uh, and I will replace both sides uh, even the other one is not damaged of course because I already bought it right the tie rod uh, ends uh, it have one for the right side and one for the left side so guys don't forget when you went to buy to buy the, for each side don't buy two parts because they will be different uh, by always buy for one for the right side and one for the left side one important thing uh, probably uh, after you do these kind of things you need to check up the alignment of your car because probably uh, it will be disaligned so don't forget to check for alignment i hope this video can help you of course don't forget a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe let's go Now we need to remove the, the tie rod end and there is different ways to do this. You can tap it right here, if you don't want to tap directly, uh, you can use a piece of wood right here. But uh, since I had a new part, so don't make any sense to keep this good. There is a special tools to remove, of course, uh, but since I don't have, I will use uh, a hammer. It's your first time you can mark with a bit of tape actually I'm gonna add some bit of tape so you can have a reference because you have to keep the same distance uh, otherwise your alignment will be really bad I will try to find a bit of tape put here so you can do it the same way Now it's released, uh, now you can move uh, the tie rod end. Uh, one trick that you also have, which is basically what everyone do, is to cut one turn, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 18, I will add some lube. And as you can see, uh, this is destroyed, as I thought at the beginning. As you can see, this one is way bigger than this, so the 18 turns will not work.
my tie rods are uh, in place. Uh, actually, um, the ones that I bought uh, was a bit shorter than the, the ones that are installed in the car. So I definitely uh, have to align. Uh, but basically everyone has to make the alignment after replacing the tie rod ends because it's really hard to keep the same distance, so no big deal. So guys, I hope this video may help you somehow and if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. See you soon. Stay tuned.